Back once again with Dr. Stephen Lane. Thanks for joining us again today, Slane. No worries. Today we're looking at beetroot and its use in endurance sports performance. Does it actually work? What's it all about? What are the types of beetroot juice? We've all seen the beetroot juice ads on telly and in the magazines. So let's see what it's all about. So Dr. Stephen Lane, your background and your qualifications and your history in regards to beetroot. I know this was part of your PhD. Tell us about what you've done yeah, with this so in the past. One of the studies in my part of my PhD thesis was the combined effects of caffeine and beetroot juice that we tried to see if there was an additive effect yep. for uh, time trial performance. Um, so I had to read a lot and put it into play. So quite an extensive background in this and whether it works or not. So to my quick fire questions on this, number one, and it's always my first question, does it work, yes or no? <sighs> I don't know. Okay. It's up and down. It's, this is a hard one. Whereas something like caffeine, we know works. Yep. And there's some pretty clear guidelines. Beetroot juice or the nitrate that's in beetroot juice. So that's what we're talking about. Is it's not beetroots themselves or the beetroot juice. It's the nitrates inside. Correct. So I guess so the question will be... Beetroots are really high in nitrate, which mm -hmm. is NO3. Right. Nitrate gets converted to nitrite in the body, which is NO2. Mm -hmm. And then NO2 gets converted to NO, which is nitric oxide. Okay. And it's the nitric oxide in the body yep. that is a vasodilator, so it dilates the blood vessels. But we also think, and one of the mechanisms behind beetroot juice, is that it makes us more efficient. So we know that Cycling uses X amount of oxygen at a given power output. Mm -hmm. Somehow nitrate reduces that amount of oxygen that it takes to do that certain amount of power. So all the studies you were involved with were to measure that, I guess, in the time trial performance. That's what a lot of uh, indoor studies are all about. Yeah, look, I didn't do any mechanistic stuff. It was like, does beetroot juice work in a time trial situation? Mm -hmm. um, but sort of the jury's still out a little bit as to which type of event beetroot juice is a supplement actually has the, the most benefit. Okay. And there's been plenty of studies that some seem to work, some seem to not work. It's dependent upon how trained the athlete is. It seems to work better in recreational athletes okay. than trained athletes. Yep. Uh, the dose, so how much beetroot juice you have, mm -hmm. and also the intensity and duration of the event. And it seems to be the harder and shorter the event, potentially the better, as long as it's still aerobics, maybe like a five to 15 minute type effort where you're closer to your VO2 max. Okay, so uh, with efforts closer to your VO2 max, so we're talking probably five to 10 on the bike would be about a, a prologue? Yeah, so we say somewhere Short between a trial. 14 to a 16 kilometer time trial. Okay. Yep. We've seen better effects in a four kilometer time trial as opposed to a 16. Okay, so more of your shorter duration rather than your longer endurance stuff, or well, shorter endurance, I guess you'd call it. So given this one is a bit of a gray area, or I guess a red slash purple area when it comes to this stuff, how much do we need for optimal effect of what we've seen a performance positive in, such as the shorter time trials and intensive? How much of this do we need to actually take? Well, how much as well? I suppose the best way to say it is how much nitrates actually in a beetroot. Right. And the answer is, it's beetroots are always going to differ. So it depends what soil they're grown in and things like that. So again, like something like caffeine and coffee, you don't know how much you're getting. So you need to try and find a standardized, um, a standardized dose. Right. So usually about 500 mils of beetroot juice, you can buy it as, a, as an actual juice at the supermarket. About 500 mils is an appropriate dose. Mm -hmm. um, there's different, um, different sort of products though. So we've got Concentrated shots, that's only 70 mils, but two of those is probably equal to about 500 mils of beetroot juice. Right, yep. Um, you've got powder, and that comes in different forms as well. Okay, so that's all measurable. Now, is this something we can take before an event and we get the benefits, or something we have to load up on prior to the event? Yep, so we used to see that, well, in studies we do just a dose about three hours before the event. Mm -hmm. That was a bit touch and go as to whether we had responders or non-responders. Yep. Uh, but now, and my favorite protocol is, this is what I use with all my athletes and do myself, is the day prior to an event, I will have maybe a dose at lunchtime, mm -hmm. and then I'll have a dose in the evening. So we call this a preload. Mm -hmm. So you're getting some nitrate in the body, it starts to be broken down to nitrite and then to nitric oxide. Yep. 
And then the morning of the event, say your event's mid-morning or lunchtime, I'd have another dose about three hours prior to the event. Right, so it's not a week-long lead-in, you'd have to buy a lot of this sort of stuff. Yeah, look, you go through a bit of it, but I think the, the 24-hour preload mm -hmm. is probably the best way to do it. Other health benefits of this? Because I guess more nitrates, it's better for your system. Is it sort of a more of a health thing as well as a performance thing? Yeah, I think there's in, in, in the normal population, they do recommend having beetroots and things in your diet because okay. it's the nitric oxide has a, I believe it's like a cardiac protective um, property. Right. Um, for cardiovascular health. So we're not advocating this will solve all your problems, but it's not a downside, I guess. It's not a poison as such. No. I guess such as caffeine or alcohol. No. Okay, yep, yep. Um, and I guess the last thing here, side effects or warnings? Uh, I think the warnings would come down to, and this is kind of funny, this stuff, is if the more beetroot you have, the, the red pigment in it mm -hmm. has to come out somewhere. Right. So if you have enough, don't be alarmed. You can, when you urinate, it can be red, especially after an event when your blood pressure's been up and you may be dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can be taken to pee and it can be pretty red. My experience with that is I've taken a few shots here and there and I've taken the powder here and there, but in my hard training leading up to the Vegas event that I went to the other week, I was doing some really long, intense indoor efforts. So I was very, very dehydrated indoors, yep. even though I was drinking a lot. My pee after that was almost scary. Yep. It was, I thought something had broken and I was urinating blood. It, that was kind of shocking, given that I had this before, but it was only after I'd really, really dehydrated myself. How does that happen? Is it the filtering through the kidneys or the liver? Or oh, how does... Yeah, look, the process of filtration through the kidneys, I, I don't know, but it, it's obviously small enough to get passed out. Right. from the blood to the urine. So I guess that's the warning of that. If you pee red or your stool coloration goes a bit darker, beware, it will be this stuff here mm. if you're loading on this. Yeah, no, it's, and it's, it's normal, it's fine. I've actually even seen one of the guys I race with on my team, he makes this powder one. Yep. And he puts it in like a 250 mil glass and he makes it pretty strong. Like he probably has, I think, I do believe probably the more the better when it comes to beetroot juice. He takes this to the extreme. He has it real strong. Yep. We have a white skin suit for our team time trial. I've seen his sweat turn pink. <laughs> Good for the Giro d'Italia coming up. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Interesting one on beetroot juice. Is the jury sort of still out? Yes, no. We'll link below to a few studies as well. Again, to Dr. Slane's website. So if you need any more further detail, Slane's the man. Yep and uh, yeah, all the studies below, but it's one of these things where I guess there's a lot more research coming up into this one. Yeah, look, beetroot juice is hard to say 100% whether it's effective. Yep. You've got to get the dose right, you've got to get the timing right, maybe it works for individuals, there's individual variants. The responder effect. And it yep. depends what event you're doing. And it's very hard to measure whether right. it's actually having an effect. Like caffeine, you can feel it works. Mm -hmm. Beetroot juice, it's like, yeah, I had a pretty good race, but I don't now know I'm, if it was the effect of the beetroot and juice. And now I'm it. peeing red, yeah. Yeah, so it, it is subjective. Maybe it's, you know, maybe a psychological thing. But Something people can do their own trials on, I guess. It has well. been yeah. measured to have some physiological effects in the body. So we, you know, if you contextualize that to performance, then mm -hmm. theoretically, it should assist. Okay, so it may be worth checking out. I'll put links below where you can buy this stuff as well. Um, I think it's available worldwide. And uh, the taste isn't too bad. A lot of them will dilute it with apple juice as well. Um, Some taste like dirt. <laughs> this one, this one tastes like dirt. This one doesn't taste too bad. And these ones are just little shots that you can slam down and it's kind of gone before you know it. Right, so more studies required, and it's something we can try at home as well. As with anything, caffeine, beetroot juice, anything you think is gonna be a performance enhancer, if you've got your own indoor set setup, heart rate monitors, power meters, and measured efforts, you can try it yourself and see if it actually works. Even if it's a placebo and you do better, still a performance enhancer. Yep. All right, thank you, Dr. Slane, and uh, we'll see you soon. See you later.